Am Harim. What are the rights and responsibilities of a man towards both his wife and mother? And also the rights and responsibilities of a wife and a mother towards their husband or son. As in most cases, men are exploited by their wives or mothers and results in favoring one and ignoring the other. So this is a question that is usually given by a, ma a man torn between two lovers. So the man here has a dilemma. His mother wants him to do things. His wife wants him to do other things. And he doesn't know which one to favor, which one to obey, which one to follow. Well, first of all, everyone on earth has rights and has responsibilities and obligations. So a child has rights that he expects from his parents to deliver and give him. Yet he also has obligations and responsibilities towards his parents. And this goes for you as an employee. You have rights in your company but you also are obliged to do certain things and responsibilities to your company, according to your job description. As a neighbor, you have rights and obligations. As a student, you have rights and obligations. So each and every individual has rights and also has obligations. No one is free from either one. Your rights upon your wife is to obey you, to respect you, to be dutiful to you, to take care of your children and of your house, and to satisfy you. Your obligations towards your wife is not to abuse her, to treat her kindly to provide a shelter for her, to put food on the table, to clothe her with what is reasonable and within your financial capability, among other things. Your rights towards your mother is to take care of her, to be dutiful, to obey her, to respect her, to love and care for her and this is your responsibilities that is your rights towards your mother that she takes care of, care of you when you were a child to uh, feed you to nourish you to educate you and to provide for you the love and compassion you need among other things now having said that each one has their own rights and responsibilities that do not mix. So one does not come at the end of the day and say, who should I obey, my mom or my wife? This, there's no relationship. Your obedience to your mother is within your mother's circle. And your obedience, if any, to your wife is within your wife's circle. So your wife has no right to tell you, don't go and visit your mom. And your mother has no right in telling you, don't take your wife to her parents' house. This is totally unacceptable. Your wife has no right to prevent you from visiting your, your family. She has no right in instructing you to do anything if you were a real man. And likewise, your mom has no right to interfere in your wife's lifestyle. She has no right to tell you or to dictate upon you that she must not go to the restaurant except once a month, that she should not see her parents' house except once a week for half an hour 
or less. She should not spend the night there. This is none of her business. And you will be sinful if you obey your mom or obey your father in such issues. Unfortunately, in so many countries, especially in the subcontinent, and I don't know why is, this is the case. Maybe it's from the Hindu heritage or something. I don't know. The daughter-in-law is treated as a servant. So when I marry, I marry a woman who my mom is pleased with her submission and obedience to her. And once we get married, she becomes the servant of the house. She's obliged to cook clean and do all the chores while the sisters-in-law's in law and the mother-in-law are resting and just supervising. And this is haram. This is injustice. Part of being dutiful to your parents is not by marrying a free woman and making her a slave to them. This is not at all kind of being dutiful. So a man has to become a real man in knowing how to stop his wife from interfering with his relationship with his parents' affairs and he has to know how to stop and prevent, diplomatically that is, respectfully, his parents from interfering in his marital life and in his wife's lifestyle. Likewise, the parents also have to be considerate of their son's life. They should not interfere in his marriage. They should not tell him what to do and what not to do, unless he's coming for counseling, for an advice, and they have a good advice. And the wife as well should not interfere, whether her husband is giving all of his money to his family or not, as long as she has a shelter and the food is being provided and she's alive and living well. Whether he's saving or not, it's none of her business. He's the one who's making the money and by standing between his family and him and asking him not to provide for them, not to give them, then she is trying to destroy her marriage and Allah knows best.